All right, welcome back to the Total Daily Podcast. I got a very, very special guest. And, and you know, I just started this podcast, and anybody that wants to support it and come on board, it, it's like an honor to me to be able to get somebody on. And I got Billy, uh, Billy from Vapor Shades. Billy, man, I, I cannot thank you enough for, for wanting to spend some money with the show and, and being, being a part of it, man. I, I can't thank you enough. Tuttle, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity. I listen to your show every day. Uh, I really like listening to you from the uh, PT Cruiser, cruising back from the uh, Hobo Fish <laughs> yeah. Camp in Tinoco all the time. It's a, it's a fun show, so well, I'm glad to be a part of it. Well, well, that's awesome, man. Now, like, how, how did you find out about my show? Well, I've listened to you since uh, high school when you were an uh, intern on the Ron and Fez, and oh, you've okay, been in the wait. radio business. It, in Daytona? Yeah, yeah, when you were on The Crow. Uh, I'm no, from New Smyrna, so. Wow, that, that is badass that you listen to me on The Crow. Like, there's not a lot of those people that, that remember that I was even on that station, but that, that's awesome. That was such a good radio station. I, I absolutely, it was one of my favorite places to work. I mean, Real Radio was the biggest, but The Crow, man, I, I had so much fun there. I, uh, I disagree with you. I think a lot of people remember that. Uh, yeah. So don't uh, well, fool yourself. That's awesome, man. That that is so cool. So well, that that's awesome, man. So now let's let's talk about now. You're, am I right or am I wrong? You're up in Alaska. Yeah, uh, I'm from New Smyrna down there. But uh, how do you go from New to, Smyrna to Alaska, though? Uh, the same way almost everybody else does with the military. Oh, okay. I, I was just, I was like, man, people from Central Florida don't go to Alaska unless they're hiding from the wall or something. You get a lot of that up here too. Uh, <laughs> that's part of the population. Now talk about Vapor Shades. Uh, if people want to check out the website, where can they do that at? Yeah, so it's really easy. You just go to VaporShades.com mm -hmm. uh, or you can check us out on Instagram. It's no problem. Um, it, it, we are a unique sunglass brand. I've always been a sunglass guy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to find sunglasses that nobody else wears. Yeah, right. I, I agree. Uh, now, I now, just, I, I, I got to ask you, though, I noticed, like, now, very colorful glasses. Like, I, I've noticed that going through the website. Everything is multicolor. So, um, uh, it's got to be big with the psychedelic people because I, I absolutely love the look of them. That's part of my audience and uh, kind of the people that would like this product. They're not for everybody. Some people don't like to, to be a peacock, you know, but yeah. those who walk on the outside a little bit and are got some confidence, that's, that's who it's for. Now, what made you want to go into this though? I mean, I mean, it's a very unique, uh, I'm just saying there's just a lot of sunglasses out there. The one thing I will say about yours for, for the quality and price point, it, it's, it's absolutely amazing. You're not, you're not going to get this quality for that price anywhere else in my opinion. No. Uh, and they're exactly made for that price point. I'm not trying to break the bank or anything, you know, they're fun sunglasses, you know, uh, Eventually, I'd like to see groups uh, like them, you know, so to make them official part of the group, because what they are is they can transcend any brand or football team or any color scheme that you have. And but the difference is yours is going to look different from everybody else's. No one will have the same pattern. They're unique, like a fingerprint. And uh, that's what you get. And it's for a low cost. And uh, we like to make it a reasonable cost because I'm you know, it, that just makes sense, you know. Besides Sarah Palin, who is the most famous person in Alaska? Uh, other than me, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, I don't Maybe know. one of those guys from Below Zero might be pretty, pretty popular. You know, uh, there are all those shows. I don't watch a lot of that reality TV, um, but uh, there's, you wouldn't even know they exist if you came up here. It's, it's it's that big of of a state. The only the only reason I asked was because we we got to get we got to get a pair of your sunglasses on the most famous person in Alaska, and, and I think we might have to go with Sarah Palin. I, I mean, we could we could get those glasses on her. I, you, you betcha. 
She only lives about 30 minutes away. Maybe I can reach out to her. <clears throat> How far away from Russia are you? Like, I mean, are you, are you pretty close? Uh, this is my window right here, and I can see Putin killing a tiger right now. So. Well, I, I only ask because, you know, a lot of people forget how close Russia is to, to Alaska there. Oh, uh, we're actually really close to the North Korea, if you look at the map and the way it oh, goes. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Wait, that little, that little hook that goes out, that, the, the islands, what, what do they call that, that little tail? Yeah, out they the are called the Aleutian Islands. Okay, the Aleut that's what I thought. There are actually some uh, World War II battles fought on those islands. Man, uh, that, that is that. crazy. That, that, so, so you went to Alaska because of the military. What, bra what branch were you in? I was in the Army. Oh, you in the Army? Oh, in the in Army? I've been out oh, for about yeah. six years now, yeah. No kidding. Now, like, what, what – explain to me, like, what – what does somebody in the army do up in Alaska? Is it because it's so close to Russia, they, they need to have bases there? Or like, why? Yeah, it's why? part of the Pacific. Mm -hmm. We are part yeah. of the Pacific. We can, uh, one of our training missions was that uh, we loaded up in a big plane. We flew for 11 hours, jumped out, and did a training exercise in Thailand Whoa. for a few days. And then we load back up. And then we jump back into Alaska. Wait, you were a paratrooper? You are a paratrooper? That's what the unit is up here in, in Anchorage, yeah. Man, that, that, man, I've, I've seen some of this stuff. I'm a bit, I, history is my favorite thing in the world. And, and reading about during World War II, whenever they, they did a lot of the paratrooping there and, and just how lucky some of those guys were because a lot of those planes, they, they, they were like Swiss cheese just getting shot up and then, and then jumping out of the plane. It, it's, it took a lot of balls. Yeah, those are, uh, those are real men. I feel like a, a, you know, a little child compared to those guys. Well, that's why they're called the uh, greatest American uh, generation because, you know, they actually that, – that was one of the wars we had to fight, and, and it was just – it was – I'm not saying it's not honor honorable, but that's the one. It was like we had to go in and we had to fight. Yeah, and uh, I was just reading the other day about how Jimmy Stewart was un underweight, and then he uh, got a trainer so he could bulk up just so he could join. That was how kind of the call it was. Yeah, that's that's crazy. So now, uh, VaporShades.com, people can check it out. I need to get some of the glasses because I want to. I want to take some pictures and and start posting them on my social media to uh, promote uh, your business and stuff. That that would I and and I want to get them on some other uh, other big broadcasters here in Central Florida, you know, and take the pictures with them on. I think that would be a great marketing thing for you. I think that would be an amazing marketing thing for me. Once once people see the glasses in person, you can actually. Uh, really get a feel for uh, what kind of, uh, I don't know, how you, the uniqueness of them, you know? So I got a pair on right now. It's hard to say with the glare, but when you hold it up real close, I, I, you know, it's, they're fun to wear, you know? And uh, you're you, never not going to, no one's never not going to not notice them. Yeah. Um, so were, were you born and raised in Volusia County? Yep. Uh, New Smyrna down there oh. off of uh, Turnbull Bay. Man. So did you go, were you, were you a Barracuda? Of course, yeah, man. <laughs> I uh, and then I lifeguarded there on the beach for several years. Yeah. Before I joined what, the military. What, what years? I, you know, I, I, I talk to a lot of people about this. Do you and you don't mind me asking? How old are you? I'm 38. So I was a class oh, of 2000. Man, makes me feel like an old fucker. Yeah, you, you, you know, are. If, You're like a I'm year older than me or something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um. But uh, do you remember the story? A lot of people don't believe me that they had like a little bit of, and the only reason I bring this up because you said you were lifeguarding, a mini tsunami that came in in Daytona. They, they never really figured out what caused it. Uh, I don't really remember hearing a story about that. Oh, Is yeah. that part of their history from like back in the 60s? No, no, this was when I was alive. Hmm. Yes, it, look it up. I, I'm, I'm, you know what, I got your number. I'm gonna text you the story when okay. I was there. now. Now, I mean, we're talking about other Volusia stories. Um, do you remember the uh, wildfires? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, the, I mean, 
going back to Crow, the soundtrack that they put out, the race oh, fun. They, uh, I, I swear to God, I would pay somebody great money if they could find that CD. I absolutely thought that was amazing. Yeah. You can, I think you can find the playlist from plates from like on Spotify sometimes, but if you want to go back and feel nostalgia, go back and listen to that. And, and everybody does not realize that whole CD, that was done in that studio. Those were live performances in the, the WKRO studio at that time. The Crow is such a unique radio station. It's such a shame. I remember when they went off the air, it was like April Fool's Day, and it turned country. Yeah. And I was like, what is this, a joke? And then it never changed back to The Crow, and it was really sad. Every, day for a lot of people. Everybody thought that they – I don't know if they planned that or it just happened to fall on that day, but everybody thought that, oh, they, they're just playing country music on April Fool's Day, and they're going to go back. Have <laughs> I, I had to sit in the studio and see the phone ring of everybody calling in, bitching about the country music. And, and, and I couldn't tell them. I was like, yeah, uh, this is an April Fool's joke. This is <laughs> yeah, I was sitting tower that day, you know, and uh, you listen, you know, when you're sitting on a tower for eight hours a day, uh, there's not a lot of radio stations you can listen to without it getting dull. Talk radio helps out a lot. And but the crow played such great music. And it was such a diversity. It was really something you never got bored. It wasn't. It wasn't straight up classic rock. It was alternative. You you would yeah, hear all types of different stuff on there. Now, super who? Cool. I want to see how good you are. Okay. Um, with the D, I want to see how many of the old DJs from the Crow that you can. Oh can, you can, man, I was get, just a teenager get, then. I listened. To, the reason I know the Crow is because I would listen to you on my way to high school in the car, and it was you on the Ron and Fez show, and then it just played music after that. I didn't really pay attention to the personality. Okay. My bad. All right. Do you remember? Do you remember the woman that came on after us? Um, Sam, I am. They they called her yeah, Sam, I, I am. Do, All right. Do you remember the name? And then yeah. they had Mac. They had Mac at night. They had Pat yeah. Largo was on. Uh, oh, um, college. It all boys rings a bell. Boys. Tell you the truth. Are they still around? What's that? It, those names ring a bell. Are they still around? Um, uh, Pat Largo is doing some stuff. Pat Sam I am is Sam I am is in South Florida. Um, uh, who else? Who else? Oh, do you remember College Boy and Napoleon? Of course. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I ran into uh, Fisher over in, um, uh, in, in in Tampa. He was working over there. So, um, yeah, which one I, is I Fisher? Ran is that college player there. Napoleon? I, I forget which one it is. I do, I, I do that all the time. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I mean, it was, it was a fun station. Um, Ron and Fez made it, made it fun. I, I really do think they did. Uh, I still talk to Ron every once in a while, uh, and and he's doing a really really good job with his daughter on Sirius. Nice. I didn't know he was doing. That. That's pretty cool. Good for him. Yeah. No. Uh, well, him and Fez That's were weird. doing. He is a hardcore broadcaster. That's going to be an interesting show. Yeah, but um, but Fez Fez left radio. Uh, he's he's living in St. Pete. And, and Ron's doing the show on Sirius up in New York with his daughter after Fez left. So it, it, they're doing really, really well. That's super cool. That's super cool. And now tell people once again where they can check out your website and, and check out your glasses. Right. So you can find us on uh, Instagram. Just check out Vapor Shades or you can go to VaporShades.com. Uh, I got the name just because it's just uh, – you know, it's a combination. I wanted a vapor wave style sunglasses mm -hmm. and I was just experimenting and what came out was more of these marbled sunglasses um, that I was trying, but the name kind of stuck. I didn't want to give up that name and uh, it's, it's a cool concept, you know? I, I, I definitely like it, man. And, and I, I can't thank you enough, man. I, I really, really, I'm going to go way beyond what I need to because I value the people that want to be a part of this uh, endeavor that I'm working on and I'll do whatever you need. You got my number. If you ever need anything, feel free to reach out anytime. Thanks, Tuttle. Man, this has been a lot of fun. I appreciate it. All right, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Vaporshades.com. Check it out, people.
All right, so.